Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at pure mathematics exam question on differential equations. Here is the exam question. The number of bees in a colony is monitored over time. There were 3,500 bees in the colony when monitoring began. After one week, there were only 2,000 bees in the colony. In a simple model, the rate of decrease in the number of bees is assumed to be proportional to the square of the number of bees. Given that there are x thousand bees in the colony t weeks after the monitoring began, part a, form and solve a differential equation to show that an equation of this model is x equal 14 over 3t plus 4. Ladies and gents, please pause the video, have a go at part a once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Ladies and gents, let's have a look at the solution to part a. In a simple model, the rate that indicates a differential of decrease that indicates that we have to stick a minus in front of the constant of proportionality. In the number of bees, which is represented by x, is assumed to be proportional to the square of the number of bees. So in part a, we can set up a differential equation. We have that the rate of change of x with respect to time has to equal minus k lots of x squared. So that there is my differential equation. I'm going to solve this differential equation and I'm going to be using the boundary condition specified in this paragraph in order to show that for this model we have x equal 14 over 3t plus 4. So the way we solve differential equations is to separate the variables. So I can start off by multiplying both sides by dt. So I've got dx is equal minus kx squared dt. Then I can divide both sides by x squared this gives me 1 over x squared, dx is equal minus k dt. Now 1 over x squared is the same as writing x to the power minus 2. <clears throat> so I've got x to the power minus 2 dx is equal minus k dt. So I've separated the variables and now I can integrate both sides. So I've got the integral of x to the power minus 2 with respect to x has to equal the integral of minus k with respect to x. So over here we can add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. This gives me minus x to the power minus 1 equal. Now we're going to integrate the constant minus k with respect to t. Because it's a constant and we're integrating with respect to t, we can simply stick in minus kt. When we solve differential equations for simplicity, we can keep the constant of integration on the right hand side. So we've got plus c, the constant of integration. So all that remains to be calculated is k and c, and then after that we can rearrange to show that x is equal 14 over 3t plus 4. Now x is measured in thousands. So if we go back to this paragraph over here, we can see that there were 3,500 bees in the colony when monitoring began. So we can actually see that when t is equal 0, Okay, initially we have x equal 3,500 bees, but because x is measured in thousands, we write x equal 3.5. So we can substitute these boundary conditions into this particular equation. So if I substitute, I get minus 3.5 in bracket to the power minus 1 is equal minus k times 0 is so 0, hence we've got c. Okay. So now I can work out C. So if I put this into my calculator, I get C is equal minus 2 over 7. Right, so now I can substitute the C equal minus 2 over 7 back into this particular equation. So if I do this, I get minus x to the power minus 1 is equal minus kt minus 2 over 7. Right, so now I need to work out the constant k. After one week, there were only 2,000 bees in the colony. So when t is equal 1, we've got x equal 2. So now we can substitute these boundary conditions into this particular equation in order to work out the value of k. Right, so I'm going to do that. I can put x equal 2 in. I've got minus 2 in brackets to the power minus 1 is equal minus k multiplied by 1, which is just minus k, and then minus 2 over 7. I've got an equation involving k, so now I can solve this particular equation. Now 2 to the power minus 1 is just 1 over 2, so I've got minus 
a half equal minus k minus 2 over 7. After rearranging, I get k equal 3 over 14. So now I can take the k equal 3 over 14 and I can put it back into this particular equation. So if I do this, I get minus x to the power minus 1 is equal minus k. So my k is 3 over 14. So I've got minus 3 over 14 t minus 2 over 7. Right, so now I can divide this entire equation by negative 1. So if I do this, I get x to the power minus 1 is equal 3 over 14t plus 2 over 7. I can multiply top and bottom of this fraction by 2. So if I do this, I get x to the power minus 1 is equal 3 over 14t plus 4 over 14. Now x to the power minus 1 is just 1 over x. So 1 over x is equal, we've got a common denominator, hence we can combine this fraction, is equal 3t plus 4 over 14. To make x the subject, I can take the reciprocal on both sides. So I get x is equal 14 over 3t plus 4, as required. So that there completes part A of this exam question. Moving on to part B. There are only 500 bees in the colony capital T weeks after monitoring began. Use the equation of the model to find capital T. Please pause the video, have a go at part B. Once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part B. So we know that x is equal 0 0.5. x is the number of bees measured in thousands. So 500 bees is equivalent to 0 0.5. We also know that T is equal capital T. So we're going to substitute these two quantities into our model. If we do this, we get 0 0.5 is equal 14 over 3t plus 4. So now we can rearrange in order to work out t. So after rearranging and making t the subject, I get t equal 8. So that is the solution to part b. And this completes the teaching video Pure Mathematics exam question on differential equation. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.